on our channel, we often show the Western-made weapons as a part of military aid to Ukraine. Today we have something different. It's the first artillery system of 155 caliber produced in Ukraine, designed in Ukraine. It's the Bogdan. Today we will talk to units that operate Bogdana and see the artillery system in action. This particular unit only received the Bogdana in January of this year, but they have already shown what they are capable of. In the short time that we have been using it, we have hit platoon strongholds, warehouses, electronic warfare stations, manpower, and mortar crews. The most memorable thing was the military equipment depots. When a shell hit the right place and the ground and the enemy's feet start to burn, that's when I remember the most. The idea of NATO-caliber artillery systems in Ukraine was announced in 2017. And in 2019, the prototype of Bogdana was already being tested. With the start of the full-scale invasion in 2022, this prototype was armed and sent to the front where it took part in the spectacular operation to liberate Zmiyne Island. Serial production was launched in the spring of 2022. Since then, Ukraine has produced dozens of these systems. There is a driver, but the driver's role extends beyond driving when the vehicle stops. At that point, he becomes involved in the work of the entire crew. The gun commander is in charge of the calculation, while the gunner aims. The charger and the shellman are responsible for the ammunition. As a unit commander, Savage knows how to perform the duties of each of his five crew members. Despite being 57 years old and a veteran of Afghanistan and Yugoslavia, he didn't hesitate to join the armed forces of Ukraine. Does this work exhaust you in any way? I can tell you that this can exhaust even 30-year-olds. People adapt. We understand that we simply have to do our job. Of course, we want the war to end soon, for us to emerge victorious and return home. Due to Ukraine's desperate need for more artillery systems, the Bogdana can be seen mounted on different chassis. We filmed two different versions on the Czech Tatra, and there are also variations of the Ukrainian Kras trucks. Most of the crew members have transitioned to the Bogdana from towed artillery. Although it has been in serial production for two years, this is a very young age for an artillery system. In fact, these individuals are among the first to test the Bogdana in combat. It was hard at first. We had to relearn almost everything. We are like pioneers in this regard. There is no extensive experience and no guidelines on how to do this correctly. We fine-tune all these processes based on our own experience. The guys don't strictly adhere to the manuals because they realize from experience that it's the best to work this way. And they learned quite well. In three minutes, they can shoot four shells and relocate. The 155 caliber allows the crews to deliver NATO high explosive or cluster shells within a 40 km range. The team also successfully used M982 Excalibur guided munitions. To protect against drones, this model has a metal mesh covering the most vulnerable spots of Bogdana, but fortunately it has not yet come in handy. How often do you deal with uh, counter artillery fire? When we are working, the engine is running, and we don't hear whether there is outgoing or incoming fire. The infantry may hear the sound, but here, near the Tatra, you can't hear it. The engine is humming, and you don't know. You also cannot see in the sky whether something is flying or not. This is probably the most unpleasant thing. But I'm so used to it that I just don't pay attention. 
It was announced that Ukraine is now producing six of such systems per month. It was announced that Ukraine is now producing eight Bogdana systems per month. Dear viewers, by the time of the editing of this video, a new update came that in April 2024, Ukraine will produce 10 Bogdana systems. We can only hope that such growth rates will not stop. Having such a production in times of war is extremely important. Besides increasing the firepower potential of the Ukrainian army as a whole, it provides more workplaces and supports the economy. Finally, Bogdana is independent from partner countries in terms of repairs and maintenance. We don't need to send an application abroad or take the gun abroad. Just recently, a service team from the factory came to me, and we repaired the gun on the spot right here, in combat conditions. The fighters note that one of the biggest guns is the weight of the system. This makes them very attentive to the ground. They carefully plan routes and firing points based on the density of the soil to ensure that the truck will not get stuck. This is a good working unit, with certain nuances. And even Caesar wasn't built the way it was from now, from day one. That's why we understand that this gun is a new weapon, and we need new improvements. I'm especially proud of my country for transitioning this type of weapon. Artillery, as they say, is the god of war. And without artillery, it will be difficult for infantry and other units. So, I believe this particular gun will make a significant contribution to our victory.